guys welcome back to my channel in case you're new here you're welcome this is let us talk with cmj and on this channel we talk about faith family lifestyle relationship motherhood and lots more and on today's episode of let us talk i'll just like to talk to you about something very simple and straightforward that the Holy Spirit dropped to my heart to share with you guys um recently the lord began to drop some burdens in my heart to do and as much as I, there was that joy knowing that I was receiving burdens from the Lord, but I found myself not being able to just carry them out. I was just being very indolent and, you know, just weary my spirit. And at a point I had to, I had to come sincere to myself that there was something wrong with me. The Holy Spirit was telling me that, oh, I have the will, but I lack the strength and i began to inquire for that what that really meant and I expanded it upon my heart and that's what i like to share with you guys um i don't know if you're listening to me and you know that you've received burdens of the spirit you've received you know instructions from god on things to do what he would have you do he would have you do a lot of things instructions have been coming ideas innovations you know business plan you have a lot of things on your mind not necessarily spiritual things you know you want to further your studies, you want to go for the masters, you want to badge back that um, certificate and all of that. You have all of this will, but um, you find yourself not doing anything. It's because you lack the strength. And in my own season, then I asked the Holy Spirit, so how do I receive the strength to actually do these things that you have you know, given up to me? And that's when it took me back to Isaiah. 40 31 a very popular scripture that we all read very simple it says that those who wait upon the lord it shall renew their strength and the most important striking thing for me there where my deliverance was was that i checked what the meaning of wait, wait is because i mean what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get strength so it is saying that um, those who wait upon the lord they shall renew their strength so it means that my strength is in my waiting so i began to ask what then is waiting and then i checked for the Hebrew word and waiting means kava and what kava means in the real sense of it the original sense of it is you know waiting actively in anticipation in hope for god to act right so it means that um when you are waiting on god it says those who wait upon the lord so when you are waiting upon the lord they are not just it means that there's something you are doing that actually there was it for me it meant that i was doing something while waiting because the literal meaning of waiting is that you wait you don't do anything you're just standing you're just sitting you're just lying you're just waiting for something to happen but the cover cover the the, the meaning is actively waiting so it means that my waiting is birthing an activity my waiting is birthing an action right so I began to, you know, study for that and inquire for that, and I realized that, you know, what it really means is that there is something that I'm supposed to be doing while waiting, um, and really, it's in prayer, you know, study the word. What more should a believer who needs strength to do something, who needs strength to fly, who needs strength to mount up? What more does that believer need? Who needs strength to get out of weariness? What more? should that believer be doing um if not praying if not studying the word right so um first of all most importantly that's the first thing to do if you know that you like me you are currently in that season where you know that you have the will but then you just really you just don't find yourself starting um just do what isaiah 40 31 says study isaiah 40 31 beyond what i've even said that means that you meditate on the word and you just see yourself having that strength and also beyond that you can as well have an accountability partner have somebody that you're talking to have somebody that you're telling about these things that can hold you accountable oh you said that you were going to start this oh you said that you were going to learn this skill oh you said you were going to go for this certification oh you said you were going to start this vision oh you said you're going to do this and do that you know have somebody that will constantly be on your neck somebody that believes in your vision that is happy to see you fly and i'll constantly remind you of these things that you've said you needed to do so have an accountability partner it's very very important and lastly surround yourself with people who are doing that same thing that you have the will to do so um 
there is really nothing that can come to you either from God or you know from other sorts of inspiration that mm, at least one person is not already doing. In, of course, it might be in a different style. Yours might come out. It definitely be unique because we are different. You get so your own form of expression will differ from another person's form of expression. But um, it might actually it would be the same. So there has to be one person at least in this entire world that is doing that exact thing that you want to do. So um, have that person as a model. Set that person, that person in front of you. And um, every time you see the person doing it, there's something that stirs up in you. Ah, I'm supposed to be doing this. So ah. I was also given that instruction to do this. Ah, when am I going? So each time you see that person doing it, um, it's going to be a form of push and encouragement for you. So I think these things will really, really help you. So have people around you that you know that are doing the exact thing that you have the will to do. Ensure that you have an accountability partner you're talking to about it that can push you and encourage you to do these things. And finally, and importantly, wake up on the Lord. How do you wait? You don't just wait inactively or passively. You wait actively. You come up. And that's in prayers and in the word. And strength will come to you to do everything that the Lord has laid upon your heart and in your mind to do. If you enjoyed this video, if this video blessed you, please give it a thumbs up and also i would like you to share with people around you so they can be blessed and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you for supporting me so till i come your way again next time stay blessed and be happy bye